Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's see how the integral changes when we have a cosine square in the denominator instead of just a cosine. So this looks very similar to the previous video, but instead of sine square over the cosine of x, we have the sine square of x over the cosine square of x. So how do we approach that one? Well, initially we do the very same thing. We're going to take the numerator and we're going to rewrite it as 1 minus the cosine square of x. And we still have then the cosine square of x in the denominator times dx. And I think you'll see the trend. We're now going to write it as two separate integrals. So this becomes equal to the integral of 1 over the cosine square of x times dx plus or, or minus, because we have a minus there, the integral of 1 times dx. And of course, the second integral is really easy to integrate. But what about the first integral? Well, again, we need to use a trick. And what we're going to do there is divide both the numerator and the denominator by the sine square of x. So this can be written as the integral of 1 over the sine square of x divided by uh, the cosine square of x divided by the sine square of x times dx minus the integral of dx. Now what you do next is you look at the denominator and you realize the cosine divided by the sine is the cotangent. So we're going to let u equal the cotangent of x, which is equal to the cosine of x divided by the sine of x. And then when we look for du, we have to differentiate this so that's equal to the denominator, the sine of x, times the derivative of the numerator, which is a minus sine of x, minus the numerator, which is a cosine of x, times the denominator, uh, the derivative of the denominator, which is the cosine of x, all divided by the denominator squared, which is the sine square of x. And then if we, oh, we still need a dx here. And then if we simplify that, if we pull out a negative one, uh, a negative sign, we have the sine square of x plus the cosine square of x. So du is equal to minus 1 over the sine square of x dx. And notice that it's almost what we have in the numerator. If we let the cosine divided by the sine equal the cotangent, then, and we let that equal u, then the differential du is the negative of what we have in the numerator. So we need a negative sign here, and we're going to need a negative sign in the front. And now what we have there is we have the negative of the integral of du over u squared. So this becomes the negative of the integral of du over u squared. Um, and that would be minus the integral of dx. And so this can be written as the negative of the integral of d of, no, we don't want to write it like that. We'll write it as u to the minus 2 du minus the integral of dx. And now we can go ahead and integrate this. This becomes u to the minus 1 divided by the new exponent. So this is equal to minus u to the minus 1 divided by the new exponent negative 1 minus the integral of dx is equal to x. And then we have a constant of integration. This negative will cancel out that this negative, so this becomes 1 over u plus x plus c, and not a plus x, this is a minus x. And finally, since u is equal to the cotangent of x, we can say that this is equal to 1 over the cotangent of x minus x plus c, and finally, 1 over the cotangent, of course, is the tangent of x, so this becomes the tangent of x, and I keep wanting to write plus, but it's actually a minus x plus a constant of integration. There we go. And so this is then the final result of the integral of the sine square of x divided by the cosine square of x. And that's how we do it.